So my hello and welcome to all of you on this live discussion on YouTube about FMG July 2024 psychiatry questions. There were seven questions asked this time. Let us discuss them one by one as per the recall received by me from the students. The first one, a mother is complaining about her young daughter that she has started behaving weird about her food habit for the last few months. She eats a lot of burgers in one go and then she vomits it out. So it is binge eating followed by compensatory behavior. There was no avoidance mentioned and the patient BMI was characteristically mentioned as 27. BMI 27 does not mean underweight. So anorexia is clearly ruled out. There is no avoidance, not underweight. The answer of this question is straightforward bulimia nervosa. Please remember anorexia versus bulimia. They are underweight and they are normal weight. They have avoidance. They have no avoidance. These two points you have to remember when differentiating anorexia from bulimia. Let's go to the next question. A chronic alcoholic person was taking 500 ml daily for last 20 years. Presented with having sensation of insects crawling on his body agitation. Insects crawling on the body tactile hallucinations last thing three days before 24 to 72 hours after last drink agitation irritation maybe disorientation some students said it was mentioned some students said it was not mentioned altered sensorium points towards a diagnosis of alcohol withdrawal delirium it is a PYQ. Previous year question. It is not alcohol intoxication. There is no evidence of overdose. It is not tolerance. This is a case of delirium tremens. Technically, they could have given visual hallucinations, but they have given you uh, tactile hallucination. Both can be seen in delirium tremens. I hope you people marked it right. Okay. Another question related to alcohol. Patient presented with emergency with problems in eye. Some students said there was diplopia mentioned. Some students said walking difficulty mentioned. So we are dealing with a case of global confusion. Ophthalmoplegia. And ataxia. Some students said history of alcohol was given. Others said it was not given. According to you, history of alcohol was present or not present? Come on. Okay. So the case is Varni case encephalopathy. We do give IV fluids also. We do give dextrose also. But the first treatment is thiamine. Thiamine before DNS. First is thiamine. Then you can give dextrose normal saline or normal saline. So first is thiamine. Then is uh, saline. We don't give dextrose first. We first give thiamine in one case and cephalopathy. B1 deficiency. Easy one. A person is afraid of tall billing, looking from very height. Some students said only fear of heights was mentioned. Straightforward acrophobia. 
claustro is closed spaces, nomophobia is no mobile phone, agoraphobia is fear of places from where escape is difficult. Okay. Next question. Uh, some students said in this one, old patient was mentioned. Some students said did not mention symptoms of delirium post anesthesia. The classical drug of choice for delirium is antipsychotics, and we prefer haloperidol as the first generation antipsychotic in delirium. Haloperidol is preferred over lorazepa, uh, over olanzapine and risperidone in classical case of delirium. Answer is haloperidol. Which of the following is not a defense mechanism? Digression is an immature defense mechanism. Displacement is a neurotic defense mechanism. Rationalization is a neurotic defense mechanism. Replacement is not a defense mechanism. A replacement is not a defense mechanism. All right. Last but not the least, a patient presented to us with feeling low, hopeless about future, negative emotion, lack of interest, decreased sleep. Some students said just depression was in the option. See, major depressive disorder or depression is a single episode. Recurrent depressive disorder is two episodes of depression at least two months apart. So even if five months was given or five years was given, some students said five months was given, some students said five years was given. The answer remains the same. It is RDD, recurrent depressive disorder. Dysthymia is low mood for more than two years, continuous. Cyclothymia is fluctuating mood for more than two years. Hypomania and subsyndromal depression. This is a case of recurrent depressive disorder. In recurrent depressive disorder, at least two episodes, two months apart, with in between normal period. This is a diagnosis of RDD, recurrent depressive disorder. So these were the seven questions that I could recall. Please put in comments if you have any questions, any queries, I'll be happy to answer them. If you have any inputs about these recalled questions that this was not the language, this is not the language. Is this question okay? Is this question fine? Replacement. Please tell me in comments how many out of these seven were you able to mark correctly? Is this question okay? All right, this one. Thank you. This one, one case, and this one, delirium segments. In addition to question number one, that was bulimia nervosa. So, this is our FMG recall psychiatry. Thank you very much.